And uh, but next question. All right. When you found the Fimbosis of the Valley, it concerns me that you're out here saying that you're going to look at mining under Hazelwood in the Chari Valley when you've said nothing about the Chari Valley in the papers. You are aware that last year Hazelwood had the enormous fire that um, killed people as well as um, harmed their health. Um, the new inquiry this week will bring up new evidence of the health impacts and the deaths in the Chari Valley. GDF sewers, who you plan to mine under, has been responsible for this. They've shown that they're not a good social citizen. One of the questions would be is why would you want to work near them or with them? And the other thing is, if this is, in, is part of the Chari Valley, why aren't you in Latrobe Valley letting the people know there what is happening? Latrobe Valley has said the, the social licence for coal is over. They've damaged our community, they've hurt our people. We want to move to renewables. Why doesn't your company look at what Friends of the Earth are doing and other renewable companies, um, yes to renewables and things like that, and invest in that battery power, invest in that solar power, invest in the wind power. Why don't you speak to your 2,000 shareholders and say, well, we can change the way we're doing things. I actually think that I am doing that. Um, I have spoken to my shareholders. I speak to them in person. Um, you've got to understand that, first of all, I can't do anything until the government grants me the chance to do that. That's why I'm sitting in this room now, consulting with the very people who are impacted by it most. I sat at the Caligny Hall, an area that was burnt through. I've carried 13 of my mates out of an underground coal mine explosion, dead on platforms. I understand what you're going through, right? Um, the, I understand what you were saying about the incumbent miners in Latrobe Valley. You'd probably understand why as a, an ASX listed managing director I couldn't say anything about that because I would get sued, okay? Um, you've, who, who is going to look after those open cuts when those companies leave? Right? Our company is willing, if we can, to, to come up with a solution that could afford to remediate those problems. Someone's got to fix them. I'm standing up here saying that if, if communities are willing to even listen to me, like, like even give me a, a moment of consideration that I'm willing to work with the communities to find ways with Friends of Earth and the doctors and everyone else to get to where I think everybody in this room, including me, want to get to. The problem is the money it takes to get there. Thanks, Ian. And uh, 